Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. My name is Lennon Rummel, and this is my brief analysis of an art piece for my art appreciation course. I was recently asked to visit the El Paso Museum of Art, and while there, I was to choose an art piece that I favored, to then make a video based on the work that I chose. There were various artworks to choose from, but the main one that caught my eye was a piece by the artist James Drake. The title of this piece is Cinco de Mayo, or in English, the 5th of May, which was produced between 1988 and 1989. Though from a distance it may seem as if it was produced with paint on a canvas, the media of this work of art is actually charcoal and paper. As for the dimensions, I believe it's simply a two-dimensional piece. Use of color. As you may have already noticed, instead of color, this piece is made up of neutral tones that contribute to the amount of value present. Use of line. The lines portrayed in the work are all implied and vary from diagonal to curved and from horizontal to vertical, thus adding to the piece's strict and steady tone, as well as the amount of movement the objects such as the men seem to have. Drake also uses a method of cross-hatching in his lines in some parts of his work, such as on the ground as well as on the men's clothing. Texture. The use of charcoal, shading, as well as line placement and type allow for Cinco de Mayo to appear soft in texture in both the objects and background. Use of proportions. Drake's proportions seem quite suitable in terms of realism, therefore allowing us to assume that this work of art leans more to a naturalistic style than to an abstract one. Use of scale. The scale of this artwork is large, thus having more of an impact on the audience or viewers versus if it were much smaller in size. The use of composition or relationship to space. Overlapping and diminishing size are used in the figures and backgrounds shown. The soldiers with weaponry are in the foreground, the frightened surrendering men are in the midground, and the faint structures of some buildings are in the background. Handling of medium. The medium of charcoal was used both lightly and harshly in areas of the piece. It was used heavily in the areas with the absence of light, as well as in the facial features of the men. It was used delicately in the areas where light was present, specifically a bit left of the piece's center, to provide more of a focus on the man with his hands in the air. Other principles of design. As for other principles of design that I have not yet mentioned, the balance here is asymmetrical. Contrast is shown through the use of neutral tones, especially in the areas that are meant to portray light, and emphasis is portrayed through the lighter area of the work, as well as through the angle of the objects facing towards that same area. And that about wraps up my analysis for Cinco de Mayo by James Drake. And to leave off with a note, that these were only my observations of the piece. And I'm sure that there are many other views out there on what they see or notice when they come upon this specific piece. 